and you will raise up the kings. There's nothing my God cannot do. Lord, many times when we look at the intimidations of the enemy, we forget your great power, Lord. We forget, we forget your power, Lord. We forget your power, Lord. We are sorry, Lord. We want to ask sorry from you. We want to apologize. It's an easy thing for my Lord. It's an easy thing for my Lord. We want to ascribe greatness to your name this evening. We want to ascribe victory to your name. Come on. Just lift your hands. Your name is the highest. Your name is the highest. Your name is the greatest. Your name stands above them all. All thrones, all thrones, and dominions, all powers and positions. Your name. For your grace upon us Lord you are here in this place Jesus thank you for the gift of worship that you have raised in our soul our neshama that seeks your presence and Holy Spirit for thanking you we are thanking you for helping us to understand the times and seasons 
and flow with the will of the Father. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Come, Lord. Do only you do what only you can do. Have thine own way, Lord. Have thine own way. Thou art the potter, we are the clay. Mold us and make us after thy will. We are waiting at your presence. In Yeshua's name we pray and bless. Somebody shout Amen. Amen. Be seated in the presence of God. I want to give you a short word. And I know you've, you might have heard it, but I want to reiterate. I want to reiterate and I want to let you know that this is the Lord who wants the kingdom to be established in the land. Amen. Somebody said amen. amen. Turn to the Lord and turn to your neighbor and say the Lord will be seen over America. Amen. Now I want you to understand you should not go to sleep now. Because the trumpet of the Lord is sounding today. Amen. Somebody said amen. amen. Turn to your neighbor and say hey. 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 It's not over. It's just the beginning. How many of you want to say amen to that? I want to say it again. I want to say it again. It's not over. It is just the beginning. I want you to clap your hands and say it next time. Next time. Next time. Next time. Ready? One, two, three. Go. It's not over. It is just the beginning. How many of you want to say amen to that? Come on. Come on. Come on. Turn your Bibles to the prophetic book of Zechariah chapter 9. Zechariah chapter 9 and we're going to read from verse 14 onwards. Zechariah chapter 9 verse 14 onwards. The small title in the NIV and NKJV will say the Lord will save his people. Somebody said Amen. Shall we all read together? Look at the screen and read together. Come on. Then the Lord will be seen over them. If you want to stand, you can stand. And his arrow will go forth like lightning. The Lord God will blow the trumpet and go with whirlwinds from the south. Reading on, reading on, reading on. The Lord of hosts will defend them. They shall devour and subdue with sling stones. They shall drink and roar as if with wine. They shall be filled with the blood like basins, like the corners of the altar. The Lord their God will save them in that day as the flock of his people. For they shall be like the jewels of a crown, lifted like a banner over his land. For how great is its goodness and how great its beauty. Grain shall make the young men thrive, and new wine the young women. Somebody who understands say Amen. amen. Can you just lift your hands and say Amen again? Amen. Let's read verse 14 again. Let's 14 verse 14. Together. Then the Lord will be seen over them. And his arrow will go forth like lightning. The Lord God will blow the trumpet. And then go with whirlwinds from the south. You might be seated. How many of you are ready to hear the Lord blow the trumpet? I want to ask you again. How many of you are ready to see and hear the Lord himself blowing the trumpet? Somebody shout Amen. You can turn different translations and try to find whether the Lord will blow the trumpet or the man will blow the trumpet. There are so many instances in the Bible where man blows the trumpet for God. But there are instances where God himself blows the trumpet. The voice of the trumpet is the voice of the Lord. Somebody shout Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say the voice of the trumpet is the voice of the Lord.
the lord shall be seen over them the lord shall be seen over them the lord god will blow the trumpet the lord god will blow the trumpet you have to understand from the sinai revelation that the lord himself blows the trumpet in exodus chapter 19 when the people were summoned to the mountain of sinai and they got together and tried to get near that mountain the mountain was ablaze with fire exodus chapter 19 and verse 14 onwards so moses went down from the mountain to the people and sanctified the people the lord wanted them to be sanctified verse 16 on the morning of the third day there was thunder and lightning with a thick cloud over the mountain and a very loud trumpet blast everyone in the camp trembled my dear children of god by the end of these 30 days and 31 days there will be a trumpet blast in america amen. somebody shout amen. amen then moses led the people out of the camp to meet with god and they stood at the foot of the mountain mount sinai was covered with smoke because the lord descended on it in fire the smoke billowed up from it like smoke from a furnace and the whole mountain trembled violently as the sound of the trumpet grew louder and louder verse 19 louder and louder Moses spake and God answered him God answered him through the sound of the trumpet somebody shout amen write it down the lord will answer with the trumpet all our prayers and petitions the lord is going to answer through the trumpet the voice of the trumpet is the solution for the end days for the end days for god to establish his word it is the trumpet that needs to come back. It is the trumpet that needs to sound the warning to the nations. It is the trumpet that has to open for the voice of God to be heard in the nations. America is the trumpet to the nations. Amen. Somebody lift your hands and shout a bigger amen. amen. Turn to your neighbor and say you and I are called to be watchmen. How many of you agree? Amen. Turn to your neighbor and say, we are watchmen. America, when it is powerful, it is a watchman. It is the trumpet. Russia, you dare not touch Ukraine. North Korea, you dare not go against South Korea. They are God's children. All the countries against Israel, be war. Israel is my brother. You cannot touch him. Somebody needs the guts to say, I am the trumpet of the Lord. How many of you want the trumpet of the Lord to be established in America? Say Amen. amen. Do you know who I am speaking about? Amen. Can I hear the name? President Trump, somebody shout Amen. Malkabara Shentere the Anturaba. Because he is called to be a watchman. He is called to be a watchman. Trump is President Trump is called to be a watchman. The one who who holds the trumpet is not an easy job. The whole country, the whole city can sleep. But the watchman cannot sleep. He has to stand on God with the trumpet. Somebody lift your hands and say Amen. Amen. Ezekiel chapter 33 verses 1 to 7. 
speaks about how the job of a watchman is and what he's supposed to do. It's not an ordinary job. To protect the nations of the world, to protect the churches. When President Trump stood on the pedestals of White House, nobody dared to touch the Christians. Come on. Persecution was down. The moment President Trump stepped down, persecution is on the rise. I believe our God is going to be so gracious. He is going to stretch his, he is going to extend his hands of favor over the nations. It is not about America. For the past two months, I have left my church. I have left all my ministry. I have not taken money for standing and praying for America. Like a crazy guy, Washington DC to Los Angeles Azusa Street went in a van every day traveling 14 hours to 18 hours sleeping only 4 hours. Why? Because the Lord has sent and said please pray intercede and pray that the trumpet will come again to power that my voice will be heard in the nations the doors of grace should not be closed. One great opportunity for the whole world to come to redemption. Amen. To come into salvation. Somebody said amen. amen. For the church. For the body of Christ. We need the trumpet. We need a watchman. Watchman. Yesterday when I was praying for the sermon. The Lord showed me. An eagle and the face of President Trump. I saw both of them manifest in the same picture. The eye of an eagle and President Trump's face. Both of them in the same picture. But today when I saw President Trump standing, I saw a watchman. A watchman in armor. Ezekiel chapter 33. I'm reading from verse 1 onwards. Again the word of the Lord came to me saying. Son of man. Speak to the children of your people and say to them. When I bring the sword upon a land. Whenever the Lord says sword. It means destruction. It means justice. It means pestilence. Remember how David numbered. And there was a pestilence. And David had to cry and the angel who held the sword had to stop at the land of Aruna where the, peace, where the priest ran in between the dead and the living ones and it was stopped. So also I am telling you we need a watchman to stand in between. Somebody said Amen. When I bring the sword upon a land and the people of the land take a man from the territory and make him their watchman. Can you underline that? When I bring the sword upon a land and the people of the land take a man from the territory and make him their watchman. What is this election all about? America, you need to install a watchman, not a thief on your walls. Now correct me if I'm wrong. Who is talking about borders so much? President? Am I on the same page as you? Who wants the illegal immigrants to come inside? Kamala. The legal migrants are waiting 10 years and 15 years to get their green card and naturalization. But these people will be given cards with loaded with 7,000 cash or 700. Prepaid cards with $700 every month for them to spend. Whose money? 
your money they want to take and give it to the people who walk in through the breaches come on is that the job of a watchman if you hire or if you grow a good watchman dog will it make peace with your thief eat the biscuit and allow the thief to come inside what does the dog do it will send shivers down your spine it's not an ordinary one you can't tame that watchman dog you can't tame it you can't try and pet it whenever i go through the security in airports they have this canines walking have you seen that and there is something that is written on that canine don't pet this dog don't even dare to reach out your hand don't stretch your hand towards this dog it has been trained that to react somebody shout hallelujah somebody i guess some people are sleeping this side is very weak this side is very powerful pastor side cannot be weak come on people hallelujah turn to your neighbor and say we need a watchman we need a watchman how many of you want to say amen to that and you have to take this man from the territory from not from outside you can't take a man outside and make him a watchman they will never understand the watchman has to come from the soil can i have a witness in the house of god only that watchman will say hey i will never make a compromise with you because this land is founded on the principles of god yeah. he will never compromise the values Amen. this land was founded on the principles of the bible in god which god if you are going to get the wrong watchman that watchman will also say in god we trust and he will be celebrating other festivals do you want the ancient gods of mesopotamia of babylon back in in america do you want it we want jehovah somebody shout amen when i bring the sword against the land and the people of the land chose one of their men and make him their watchman this election is all about electing a watchman and what does the watchman do what is his responsibility the job responsibilities of the watchman when he sees the sword coming upon the land if he blows the trumpet and warns the people then whoever hears the sound of the trumpet and does not take warning if the sword comes and takes him away his blood shall be on his own head he heard the sound of the trumpet but did not take warning his blood shall be upon himself but he who takes warning will save his life but if the watchman sees the sword coming and does not blow there come on somebody can you see that there are there, there are the reasons the lord says the watchman has to blow the trumpet and warn the people watchman somebody say watchman, watchman. has to watchman. blow the trumpet, blow the trumpet. And, warn the and warn the people and the people are not warned the sword comes and takes any person from among them he is taken away in his iniquity but his blood i will require at the watchman's hand so you son of man turn to your neighbor and say you come on come on come on look at them look at them point fingers you son of man i have made you a watchman for the house of israel therefore you shall hear a word from my mouth and warn them for me 
Somebody lift your hands and say Amen. Amen. Watchmen, take up the trumpet. Amen. You know what God was doing with President Trump? There's a difference between shofar and a trumpet. Explain, trumpet is straight. Trumpet is straight. It can have different reeds to manipulate the sound and the scale. But the shofar is not a trumpet. It is natural. But the shofar, to become a shofar of the Lord, it has to be twisted and turned to God's purposes. Guess what God was doing in the past four years? He was twisting and turning the trumpet of the Lord to perfectly sound the voice of the Lord. And for the trumpet to sound, the flesh has to be cleaned from the horn. The flesh has to be removed. Come on somebody. Somebody shout Amen. The flesh has to be removed. The flesh has to be removed. The horn has to be cut from the head. The horn has to be cut from the head. The horn which is the might of an animal, the horn, which is the pride of an animal, has to be cut to be used by the Lord. Wow, wow, wow. And the flesh has to be removed. So that the spirit of God, the breath of God, to, can flow and become the voice of the Lord. Amen. Do you understand what God was doing? He was cleansing the watchman. And when the bullet hit the watchman on the right lobe of his ear. And the blood was dripping on his right thumb. And fell on his shoe. When the shoes were removed. President Trump is asking for my shoes, my shoes, my shoes. And the blood would cover his right toe. Wasn't God preparing the watchman? Wasn't God anointing the watchman? Twenty-four seven houses of prayer and worship. Did you see in the past four years how the enemy has been bringing down giants of the Lord to put to shame? All the prayer and the worship movements are trying to be put to shame. But we are going to bring a restoration. Amen. The restoration of the tabernacle of David. Amen. Will happen in President Trump's rule. Amen. The fallen houses will rise again. Amen. How many of you want God to restore the churches? Yeah. Isaiah 62 and verse 6. Come on, come on, come on. Isaiah 62 and verse 6. Let's go fast. I have posted watchmen on your wall. Jerusalem. They will never be silent day or night. You who call on the Lord. Give yourselves no rest. Which is why. CMFI. For the past. 21 days. How many days? 26 days has been lifting up the trumpet of the Lord and been sounding an alarm in the holy mountain. Amen. In the capital, yes. saying, Hear, O Israel, hear, O America, the watchman is coming. Amen. The anointed trumpet of the Lord is coming. Amen. Somebody shout, Amen. Amen. Are you ready for the watchman to be installed? Yes. What date is today? What day of the week? Next Tuesday? By this time? The trumpet of the Lord will be vindicated. 
the watchmen will be standing. Stand up, stand up. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. How many of you agree with me in the spirit? It's an easy thing for my Lord. The eagle will fly. The trumpet will sound. This is what the definitive word that God has put. See, I am nobody considering all the men of God who came and stood here. But as pastor said, even through the donkey, the Lord can speak. I am one of those donkeys that came to give you the word of God. It is not Balaam. It's not, it's not Balaam. Whatever they speak, the Lord is going to change it. Deuteronomy 23, 5. Because the Lord your God loved you. He will not hear to Balaam. But he will turn that curse into a blessing. America, you will no more be a curse. God will change you into a blessing. You will not kill your babies. Come on worship team, join me on the stage, come. Hey, before we go, how, how, how many of you feel that this prayer is being orchestrated by the Holy Spirit? Come on, come on, come on. How many of you believe that running a revival like this is costly? So many men and women of God have come, their, their hotels had to be taken. The food has to be provided, transportation, so many costs. And it's easy because I'm a pastor, I've done this. It's, it's very costly. There are so many sacrifices that men and women of God do. They never tell you. Sometimes I've had to sell my car to take care of such kind of revival movements. Revival is costly. That is a price. But with the help of God's servants who understand that revival is not a one man show it is a family it is the family the body of christ somebody watching you have been watching this revival but you have never sown into this revival i am speaking to you many of them here every day sacrificially they have given i want to give you an opportunity those i am directly speaking to you the lord is speaking to you sir you my sister You've been watching it, you've been worshipping, you've been receiving this word. But listen, when you receive the word, you have to sow into the word. And God will bless you. Because only when the body is strengthened by food, only when the body receives, it can be strong to proclaim. You need to strengthen the hand of God. You're not giving to a man. You're giving to a purpose of God. Come on, somebody lift your hands and say, I'm sowing into the purpose of God. Come on, right now, whatever you have to offer God, just lift it up. Let us sow into the Lord and then go into worship and we will close. Tonight, exactly one week, I declare and decree, we will be blowing the trumpet and we will be celebrating the Lord. Brother, sister, I paid my tickets to come here. I am sowing into this revival. I bought this trumpet from Israel and carried it so many days to come and sow it here. I won't say how much it is because it's my gift into this revival. I have needs, but I am considering this is the need of God. There's a need for God in this kingdom. For kingdom purposes. So understand the value of your seed. You're sowing into a revival. You're sowing into a revival of God. So I'm giving you this opportunity. I'm not begging you. Sir, please. Don't misunderstand. Pastor did not tell me before I come to the pulpit. Can you preach about offering? No, sir. I am doing it on my own. Pastor did not tell me a word today. He did not even say, can you take offering? No, he did not say anything. I am speaking from me, from myself and for kingdom purposes. I was supposed to give him the mic. 
but i am speaking i am taking the honors on me because i am i know i understand what they are doing what we are doing i am part of this family i am part of cmfi i consider him as my own brother and sister that's why i sent my children my daughter is serving in worship my son is serving in the media they are both serving the house of god we are sowing we are sowing i know one day the lord will bless me through this land this land will bless me again this land all the place i've gone for prayer i have not taken any offering i believe my god will reward me i have that faith you see when we sow we should not sow sow with fear fear will restrict you from sowing what if i give this and i won't receive anything again that is fear what if i give and i don't get better don't sow don't give because you have fear that's why the bible says the lord loves a cheerful heart what is a cheerful heart i am giving to god i know my god i know my god god is bigger than my bank it, he doesn't operate on interest rates he operates on divine providence he is jehovah jireh come on so when you are sowing i want you to sow in faith and not in fear somebody said amen, amen. you can come and sow come 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 shabala dala ba second me do up the name of jesus lifted high lifted high lifted high the name of jesus is lifted high in this land everybody the name of No other name but the 
Shendere. lift your right hand father we declare come on repeat after me father, father we, declare we declare the watchmen, the watchmen with, the trumpet with the trumpet will stand, will stand. Next, week. next week this time, this time. The, watchmen. the watchmen trumpet, trumpet. Trump. trump president trump, president trump. Will, be will be standing victorious we know, we know, we know that you love America, that you love, America, that you love, Israel, that you love Israel, and towards that, and towards that the, trumpet the trumpet of the Lord, of the Lord will, win. will win. Somebody give Lord glory. Yeah. Clap your hands and give glory. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. So very grateful. Hallelujah. Amen. Can you give a clap and give God the glory? Father, we bless the offering. Thank you because you are the multiplier of our source. Multiply it, Lord, and bless all your children who gave both here and electronically and online. Thank you because you alone, oh God, when it's your will, it's your bill. And you are paying your bill. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Shout a shout of victory. Is God winning? Is God winning? Can sit down for a few minutes.